Welcome to the training video on IntelliView and the Potter Fire Panel Programmer. In version 9 and higher of the Potter Fire Panel Programming software, there are several new IntelliView features that you might find very useful. You can upload a panel's current configuration from cloud storage directly to your programming software to make changes. You can download the program via the internet to the panel, and IntelliView will also store your panel's current configuration in the cloud. You'll notice that there is a login box in the top right corner. This is where you log in to link your IntelliView account to the programming software. But before we log into IntelliView, let's look at what opening a Fire Panel program looks like without being logged in. We have a standard Windows File Explorer window where we can choose programs that are stored directly on our local machine. Let's go to the IntelliView login box. Once the login window opens, you'll see that we can either log in or sign up. Signing up just creates an IntelliView account. To be able to see a control panel in the programming software, you would need to have IntelliView Link already running on that panel's local network. Let's log into IntelliView and then open a Fire Panel program. You'll see the option for Local File here, which is a program that resides on the computer we're working on, just like when we were not logged into IntelliView. Below that, we see IntelliView. When we select that, we see a list of all of our online IntelliView link servers and the panels attached to them. The entries with the exclamation marks indicate servers or panels that are not currently online with IntelliView. Beneath each program entry is a date stamp for when that program was uploaded to the cloud. We can upload those to our local machines at any time and edit them. We're not uploading those directly from the panel, but instead from a Potter server that archives the latest program from each IntelliView connected fire alarm control panel. Now let's look at downloading. We can download via IP, which we use for direct connection or if we are on the same local network as the panel. Below that, we have the IntelliView option if we uploaded the panel program via IntelliView. We would still need someone on site to enable remote access, but this feature works the same way it would if we were directly connected to the panel. Please keep in mind that this feature isn't intended for initial programming, since you would still have to perform some computer programming just to get the panel ready for IntelliView. This is meant more for adds, changes, and modifications to an already existing programmed panel. For additional questions about Potter products, please contact technical support at the phone number or email address shown on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.